And he had it set up where there was a trap door where he like pushed a fucking thing on his with his foot, and it would just dump him right out of the fucking barber chair into this trap chute, and the dude would he'd keep him. Wasn't this Sweeney Todd? It might have been. It might be who I'm thinking of. Well, that's a movie. I don't know if that's <laughs> that's with Johnny Depp. Cannibalism is a is like a sexual. Uh, I don't want to say fancy, but like it, they sexualize it basically, and like they yeah. get off on cannibalism and j- just weird shit. Like the standard serial killers, you know, started started uh, with animals, worked his way up to people. <laughs> he was a he was a he was an animal torturer, so that's like a surefire sign. If you if there's a yeah. kid that's torturing, killing, skinning animals, you know that they're gonna be fucked up. You know, if there was a human arm on the floor, on the ground, I'd be like. What the fuck? Yeah. And there's people out there that are like, oh, I'll take that home. I'll put it in my fridge. It looks awfully tasty. Yeah. Once, uh, once I'm done jerking myself off with that, I'm totally going to eat it. <laughs> that's the kind of shit they do. <laughs> oh, whoopsie. I did. Her puss are mediocre. <laughs> Huh? Did you poop? Did I fart? Or poop? Dude, I, I tried <laughs> carrying the fucking the trash out to the dumpster before you guys got here. Almost poop yourself. And if the fucking shit garbage <laughs> fluid all over me. I had to go inside and change. How do you know it wasn't just leaking out of your asshole? No, it was because it was leaking all over my fucking arms and shit. And mm. smelled like fucking rotten, dude. Gross. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, hey there. <laughs> oh, welcome to this conversation. Hey <laughs> it's gross. Good gross. It's a way to start your day. I hope it's the morning, which uh, it should be. Yeah. 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 For What's up? Throw that shit, girl. <laughs> Back it up. on it. Spit. Uh, before we uh, before we continue here, I just want to say I'm sorry you couldn't make it into work today for your gas, which, in case you guys don't know, is gaping asshole syndrome. It affects one in one million American men. I'm um, just here to spread awareness about it. So uh, <laughs> just like Colby spreads diseases. So thank you for your time. If I can give diseases, diseases. <laughs> That's how that works. <laughs> Fucking herpes. How's, I how's, how's your gas? Herpes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry your, My gas your gaping asshole. asshole syndrome was flaring up today. Wow. Well. Yeah, I got something. I caught something that's not been very fun. Yeah. I've been pretty pretty low-key all day. I do believe it's uh, karma for you talking shit to me about being sick. Oh, is that what it is? Yep, 100%. Oh, oh you were being quite dramatic mm, okay. when you were sick. I was not. I was fucking... I felt awful. I haven't felt that bad in years. Yeah, normally when people don't feel that good, they go home. I did. I was home for two... Two, two days? You sat at work the one day, and you were like, yeah. oh, I feel like shit. Yeah, I slept most of the day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if the boss allows it, why not? I mean, does he allow it, or did he just not know about it? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't like being at work if I, feel, if I feel like absolute shit. I don't either, but usually I can, I can usually work through being sick, but... I was just, no, I was just done. I couldn't fucking If it would have been, like, just the shits, man, like I said, I probably would have been at work. It was no big deal. But, mm-hmm. dude, the waves of, like, there was a couple times where, like, I was sleeping today, and I just woke up, and I was like, I'm going to puke. And then I'd, like, sit up, and it would just go away. Yeah. I'm like, okay. But, <laughs> okay. dude, like, <laughs> and then the, the fucking chills, dude, that's the worst. When you're under, like, two, three fucking blankets, and you know you should be sweating your ass off, and you're like, mm-hmm. oh, Jesus, it's cold in here. That's exactly how it is that, when you get dude, strep throat, too. Fucking dude, if you would have had it. your bathroom done, you could have just taken a bubble bath. Yeah, you could, I know no, have a tub. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Could have took a fucking straight-up steamer of a shower, though. Yeah. yeah. And not worry about the fucking... And say you took a steamer in the toilet. Yeah. A big, juicy steamer of gross poop. 
Yeah, I think I'm dehydrated as fuck, too. Probably. I'm not very good at drinking water. No, you're not. And then when I get sick, it's like, so... Probably takes you a lot longer to... Like, I woke up in the middle of the night, somewhere around like 3, 4 o'clock last night, and I was fucking shitting liquid out my ass. Mm -hmm. And by 10, 11 o'clock this morning, I had like the fucking belly pressure, like I was about to blow the toilet up, but I'd go sit down there, and it was like I was constipated, and I couldn't fucking poop. Right. And I think it's because I'm fucking dehydrated. Yeah. And... I accidentally bleached my asshole today. What? Yeah. I accidentally bleached my asshole. How do you accidentally bleach your asshole? Well, I thought I was using a dude wipe, and I didn't really pay attention, <laughs> and it was a Clor- Clorox it was wipe. A Clorox wipe. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I mean, that shit's probably real clear. You could eat off that asshole now. <laughs> Maybe not now, but. Yeah, I've been having some pretty good smelling farts. They come out like that's not true. You literally just fucking ripped one over there. He walked over and that followed one, you. He said, "Oh my god, that one was bad." It followed me. <laughs> that one was bad. Mm. Yeah. So anyway, ho- yeah. Hopefully, I'm done with with this shit. Fucking by tomorrow morning. Yeah, because you got work to do. And How was your? Week? I got a show to play with Bo tomorrow night. Oh, good luck. Yeah. And I got a bathroom to fucking work on all weekend. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So are you done? Okay. I got shit to do. How was your week? <laughs> Wasn't too bad. We no. uh officially decided we're starting to look for another dog now. All right. Um already, yeah. That's soon. Very <laughs> yeah. quick. Um it's weird in the house without no grieving time, huh? I thought about uh, there it. was plenty of grieving time, but it, he was also sick for quite a while. Yeah. I mean he we we knew it was coming. But uh yeah, we filled an application out and from uh, so we like the pit bulls. Yeah, so just we like to rescue them. I mean, and you should make a TV but, series about it. And um, um call yeah, it I think pit, uh, you should call it Pit Bull Rescue. <laughs> 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 but no, we 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 fill out an application, and it sucks because it sounds like we're not gonna get even like a thought about to get him. Why? Why? Because on there. There's a thing that says uh, you have to put your ins- your like your home insurance provider and all that, and because they you have to have like aggressive dog insurance or they have to cover it, so and they don't fuck it. Our insurance doesn't do it. There's hardly any insurance companies that do, mm. and so yeah, it, aggressive, may, be, it that, may be tough. That whole aggressive dog bullshit is, is bullshit. Is pure bullshit. Yeah, yeah. it is one hundred percent. Yeah, owner ownership. Yeah, man. yeah. My last dog. Pitbull lived with my sister. She had fucking three kids mm-hmm. in the couple years that he lived with her. And that was the sweetest dog to those kids. Like, not a fucking mean bone in his body. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, like, Kevin and Christy, my aunt and uncle, they got two pit bulls. They're, they're blue pits. Yeah. And those dogs fight each other every now and again. But when I take my kids over there, dude, they're, they're just like, I used to call them the nanny dogs. Yeah. Because they would just, Make sure your kids didn't fucking kill themselves mm-hmm. around the house when you were doing shit. Right. Yeah. They're good dogs. I've always had pit bulls or stigma. pit bull mixes. And- yeah, I love their, like, just their attitude and everything. I had a Do- dog that was a pit bull Doberman. They're, with yeah. My friends had a Doberman and a pit bull, and they fucked, and they made babies, and we had one. That's, That's how, how that, that works. works. Huh? It's the nicest. <laughs> it's the nicest. <laughs> you guys sounded so exactly. I didn't know who was fucking who. <laughs> That's how that works. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that nicest dog I've ever had in my life. Yeah. Yeah, ours was fucking absolutely amazing. And I adopted him from the Humane Society when he was two. Mm-hmm. And, like, he still had, like, the puppy stage in him. But yeah. not other dogs didn't give a shit about. So you guys yeah. preset on, like, a pit bull breed? I would like to. Um, just because I loved his, like, the way he acted and all that and just kind of in a way, hoping to get something similar to that. Yeah. And everyone that I've met, it's very similar to that. You know, they, like, they'll, they'll cuddle right up with you in bed or whatever. And then, but then they're also, I like the idea of having just that, you know, a little bit intimidating look just to start off. Well, even yeah. though, you know, that way it deters people from like, he's out on the chain in the yard or something. Yeah. And they de- it deters people from just walking up and coming up to pet or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, they just kind of like, oh, all right. Well, yeah. that people see it and like, Oh. I'm not robbing that house. Oh, right. Pitbull. Yeah, that's what they think about bourbon. Bourbon gets all fucking tough like he's a fucking 
Yeah. Which I don't, maybe because I know him, but I don't see that. I just see a big dum dum. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you no, know, I mean, like when the UPS trucks and shit come by, like, dude, the hair stands up on his back and he yeah. fucking starts right. barking and, and they're all scared shitless of him. I'm like, that's a good thing, I guess. Yeah. You know, ain't nobody going to fucking come on the property. Right. It makes people think, like, take a second look and be like, yeah. oh, okay, maybe not. That's a big dog. Yeah. That's a big dog. Yeah. Even like, so our, our, uh, bedrooms in the basement like having a dog is just like the perfect like security system for having a bedroom in the basement because mm -hmm. there's no walkout door or anything so somebody does come in he's the first one to alert us so first and place. he'll be he'll be upstairs like that and so we'll know for sure if there's actually somebody in or not it's yeah the best place to be if somebody breaks into your house is in the basement because right. you have no way out so your only option is to fucking kill them right <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean honestly they, they come down the steps you have no way out you're cornered i'm shooting yeah only mm -hmm. leave one story no yep. one story mm -hmm. speaking of killing we're talking about some sorrel killers tonight <laughs> one of my favorite fucking have you ever topics. thought about what it would be like to actually be a serial killer? i have possibly thought about <laughs> stuff like that <laughs> uh I must, I must say I had a lot of time today to, like, dream and fantasize because I stayed home sleeping all day. Mm -hmm. And I definitely had a couple of dreams today where I was fucking killing people. I See, I've never had dreams about that. <laughs> <laughs> I've just thought about, like, what what would I do? What would I be like? How would I give it away with it? What, you know, how would I kill them? What's my MO? You yeah. know? Well, today <laughs> was, like, just beating the shit out of them until they're dead. That was, that was what I was doing today, apparently. So you're going to be the beatdown killer? I was just... Grabbing motherfuckers and roughing them up. <laughs> oh, he's dead. Now on to the next one. What yeah, would what would be your uh, your calling card? Like, oh, this is the beatdown killer. <laughs> you know, I would thought, you leave like a pair of brass knuckles like on the ground next to him? That'd, that'd get expensive. I feel like you should do like something simple, like leave a turd across their lips or something. <laughs> a, a mustache. A <laughs> you're, good at, you're good at pooping. That's so <laughs> across your lips. I Fuck feel me. like you could shit on command. So if you, you know, you can just go up like, yeah, I feel, a, I feel a shit of brewing. I better go get my kill on. I think I'd, I'd leave them with fucking tampons shoved in their nose. It was boring. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. yeah. Where, where they get a nosebleed from you beat, beating them ass, down. Yeah. So you fucking stop their <laughs> nosebleed stop. when they're dead. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's see, nice. See, see, that's yeah. very I nice mean, of you. Unless you leave like a fucking handwritten note or something, you're going to end up getting your serial killer title by the media and, oh, and everybody yeah. else anyway. So, I mean. Well, I mean, I'm, I called you the beatdown killer, so. You'd be the, the butthole banging killer probably, right? Something close to that, probably. Yeah. You you look like a raper. Oh, that's 100% you, dude. You'd be raping them first. That is 100% you. Look at look at your mullet. That just <laughs> screams rapey. Well, that that is prejudice. But it's not. You're just assuming that because a mullet? What? Do you, you think a mullet's <laughs> just a rapey vibe? It is. Yeah. Why? What? Who Who do you know that's a raper that rocks a mullet? That rocks a Colby. mullet? Colby, uh, <laughs> this so real sick fuck Colby Dickus, aka the beatdown killer. <laughs> There's no proof. There's no proof of that currently, okay. but there will be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't catch me until you have actual evidence that that's happened. I'm on to you. Yeah, well, I'll be in you when you catch me as a rapist. I don't think. I don't think you will. Yeah. Hey, is this napkin smell like chloroform? <laughs> <laughs> Can't use my line. No, don't rape me. <laughs> oh, too late. Oh, too late. Brandon, you'd be all about it. You know you would be. That would not be about any of that. Why? Well, for one, I don't want to get raped. You don't like getting raped? I never had it happen, but I assume, I guess, that I wouldn't like it. And second of all, uh, I don't I wouldn't want to be murdered either, you know? Yeah. This doesn't sound like a pleasant time. I mean, I probably could deal with being raped if I wasn't murdered. I don't. I wouldn't want to get murdered. Mm, see, I feel like if I'm getting raped, just kill me. Right? Yeah. Like I don't want. I mean, to. I don't. It's not. It's not the way you think. It's <laughs> not going to be some some woman that's just riding your dick, <laughs> yeah. you know, forcefully. It's going to be some big fucking guy named Bruce, probably, and he's going to just be fucking hammer fist in your gaping. Good thing you got gas right now because. Otherwise, it'd be <laughs> be a little more resistance. Uh, 
Yeah, but I mean, there's more to life. Like you can get past a traumatic experience like that and live a full, full life. You can, afterwards. but I, I don't think I'd want to. Yeah, I'm right. I, I mean, what if nobody saw it? Can get past. What if nobody saw it? It was just you and your therapist are the only ones that know about it. You're still gonna have yeah. Dreams I mean, about I don't think it. most like there's not an audience for most rapes. Why well, no? <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> Otherwise, there would be. <laughs> but you'd just be okay being like, yeah, my life can be over. I got raped. There's nothing left. Probably. Hmm. I'd tell people about that shit. You'd tell people about it? Oh, fuck yeah, I would. Like, I got raped. So it, it's... <laughs> it was not... It, it was you're not leaning fun. more more towards like, ah, it happened, whatever. It, yeah. It was okay. <laughs> I didn't mind it. <laughs> the guy wasn't that bad. <laughs> it was... Well, when you go to prison, I'm going to make sure I, I give you powdered soap to take He didn't you. buy me a fucking steak first, but... Yeah, well, you can't whatever. pick it up. Uh, no, I... I think I'd I'd probably tell people I'd I'd start like sexual awareness assault training classes. Be like, don't talk to that guy. That guy's a raper. Don't talk to that guy. That guy's a raper. How do I know? Mullet. Mullet with chops. <laughs> <laughs> Mullet with chops. Stay away from the chops. The chops are the dead giveaway. Ch- chops are definitely, yeah. Especially if it's just chops. Nothing else. Like, just they have, like, normal hair, but they got chops. Skinhead with chops. Yeah. Dude, fuck. Raper. That, that guy's a raper. Instant <laughs> raper. That's a raper. For guys with, like, really curly hair. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Brandon? I don't have curly hair. Prove it. Question. So, Albert Fish was a raper. What? I was question? gonna ask you. Mm-hmm. If we set up, like, a fucking wrestling ring, right? And it was me versus you. Winner. Oil or no like, oil? Like everything goes, but the loser is the one who gets penetrated. <laughs> okay. <laughs> who do you think's who do you think's losing that fight? Oh, you're gonna lose. You don't get to leave until somebody's penetrated. You're definitely losing because I really so? don't want to get fucking penetrated. Yeah, I I don't want to get penetrated by you either. I guess I, it it probably wouldn't be as bad for me to get penetrated than it would for you because it probably wouldn't hurt me as much because you're because you have a gaping asshole? No, that's you. You have a gaping asshole. You, but also, you also fell, have... You fell on a banister. You have a, a wiener that's that rivals a pissed-off field mouse. Oh. Hmm. So so I'm told. Never I've, seen it. I've never... But... I've never been related to that one yet. Pissed-off hmm. field mouse? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you now have. I could be a serial killer of mice. I think I actually am. Already. That's good. Those are welcome in this world. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I yeah. I think of like terrible ways to kill mice. I, I like. Yeah, we've been of, down this road already. Yeah, it's kind of sadistic as fuck if you think about it. Well, as long as I stay with mice and don't switch to people, I'll be all right. right? Yeah, but okay. I mean that's where a lot of people start is animals, animals, and then they move to kids. Mm-hmm. They moved well. See, it right. just springs up every time. Just, just the right children. The Leave the fucking children alone. Yeah, you God. sick fuck. <laughs> Speaking of, Albert Fish took some notes. See that? Mm-hmm. Professional. Uh, this guy, so this was this was a long time ago. So he was born in 1870, so this was... Holy shit. Yeah, this was, this was old. Uh, his, some of his aliases... Yeah, he's still he's still kicking. Um, there, he's waiting his death penalty. Uh, he was called the Gray Man, the Werewolf of Wisteria. I'm saying that right, Wisteria, and the Brooklyn Vampire. He uh, he he did all kinds of he did the cannibalism thing. He did the mutilation, murder, and his targets were. Your favorite young kids. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, so he did this shit for a long time. Usually, he, which, and it says too, it's funny, it's like he targeted vulnerable victims, which you'd think if he's targeting kids, it's pretty vulnerable. But yeah. nope, he didn't stop there. It was kids in poverty, kids with disabilities. <laughs> uh, and he used various methods to. To just lure them, you know, probably like did the candy thing. And do you think that's where like the the stranger with candy started? This dude, um, hey little kid, I got some candy over here. Step in my horse buggy, my horse buggy. <laughs> <laughs> it probably was, yeah. It was like, hey, 
I got these. Uh, I don't even know what kind of candy they would have back then. I got these uh, lemon drops. It was Just like the old licorice. school. I got oh, I yeah. got this licorice. Yeah. <laughs> the, the hard, the hard uh, lemon drops yeah. and the root beer candies. Yeah. Or butterscotch. Uh, butterscotch, I feel like was yeah, around back then. For sure. Do you you know how easy it would be to get away with that kind of shit back then? Mm. Yeah, Dude, I mean, he, he probably went off killing people for years, and there's like the only way he could get caught is if somebody actually witnessed it. Yeah, like that far, like 1800s before fucking security cameras would be so easy. Yeah, well, I mean, like, not just, I mean, security cameras, they have like no everything. way to test like blood yeah. and finger. I don't even know when fingerprinting started, but I'm assuming it really wasn't a thing back then then dude you could yeah, you literally have to just get caught you could it. shoot somebody and then like people would come running to the gunshot and you could be standing there with a gun in your hand with a dead person in front of you and be like some guy shot him and took off over the hill and they'd be like let's chase him and well because everybody had a gun then yeah like, like there was they somebody hears a gunshot there's fucking 100 guys with fucking guns mm -hmm. i mean everybody has has a gun now or should. well well not everybody is walking around carrying one in their waistband. It's true. Like no. they should. They definitely I think should. They definitely I, should. I carry but, every day. Yeah. Like in your waistband. Yeah. I don't carry a six shooter or anything. You know, like oh, draw a motherfucker. <laughs> or do you just leave it in your truck? No, I don't. I definitely don't leave it in my truck. Yeah, people would steal it if you left it in your truck. People definitely will steal it if you leave it in your truck. Uh, do you carry a gun? No. No? I should. I don't. Do you have a gun? Yeah. You do? Hmm. You, I don't. Know. I don't carry mine very often. This dude, this Albert Fish, he, uh, so obviously he ate them, raped them, molested, did all, all, pretty much all the bad shit that you can think of he did. And this fucking guy sent a letter to, I think it was his first victim. I don't know if it was the first, first victim or not, but it was the young girl. And I could read it, but it's fucking long as fuck. But yeah, I sent a letter to Jesus. He sent a letter, sent to, a letter to the mom. Here, like, here's, here's some of it right here. It says, Grace sat my lap and kissed me. I made up my mind to, <laughs> to eat her uh, on the pre pretense of taking her to a party. There's uh, another one. Jesus Christ. First, gee, this is awful. First, I stripped her naked. How she did kick, bite, and scratch. I choked her to death, then cut her in small pieces so I could take my meat to my rooms, cook it, and eat it. How, oh, Jesus Christ. This is, a, <laughs> what, what is wrong? I don't know what fuck people, man. How sweet and tender her little, okay, I'm done. I'm good reading the rest of that, but. What the fuck? <laughs> um, yeah. So. Let me ask you this. If you were going to eat somebody, mm -hmm. what part of the body do you think you would try first? Well, so I've heard. <laughs> My, I got a buddy. <laughs> got a buddy who's. Uh... I've heard the ass cheeks are the best, which I'm pretty sure the can't, the, the um, not like candles, a, but that, remember like that plane, roast. that plane crash? Uh, it was like in the Andes or something, yeah. or some mountains yeah, yeah, or whatever, and they yeah. ended up eating people and shit. Yep. The, to survive. Yeah. And in like the Donner Pottery and stuff. I'm pretty sure they wasn't, I'm pretty sure that they always said like the ass is <laughs> like the best thing to eat, really. Huh. I could be wrong. But you'd, I go, you'd go for the ass. I feel, I don't know if I would. Like, I don't feel like I'm doing like the three, two, one method on the ribs or anything. No. I think I'm just trying to <laughs> hunk off a chunk of steak or something. And <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get get a bicep or yeah. something? Some yeah, I don't thigh. know about a bicep. Why? I feel like that's pretty muscly and not as... I want it well, Fatty. well marbled. Mm. So I think the... <laughs> I feel like the ass chat... I feel like the ass cheek would probably be... I, I really have... Probably be pretty good. <laughs> Let me just Google what is the... I'm going to uh, get flagged by the FBI or something. What is... <laughs> I think I'd probably the cut a steak out of like best. like somebody's quad or something, you know. Well, yeah, I think that's. I mean, that's pretty muscly too. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like I shouldn't. I bet Google people, this, but I bet people. Oh, if you had, oh, it's, it's on PBS, so it should be good. Yeah. 
<laughs> BBS. <laughs> <laughs> they have fucking pictures of fucking hoagie with the arm in it. <laughs> Way to go, PBS. Uh, if you had to eat a human body part, fucking long. Just give me some notes, some bullet points. I'd be like, oh, this part. Think you could make bacon out of the stomach? Probably. Oh, they have calorie values. Ooh. Dude, I bet you, I bet you like human skin crisps up like really nice too. Mm, like if you like fried. potato skins? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I bet if you like fried like a chunk. Bacon cheddar potato skins. I bet you could make yeah. like some fucking out of the belly with the skin on. You mm-hmm. can make some like burnt in. How you yeah. burn in? How much or how many calories do you think the skin in total, your whole your entire amount of skin on your body, how many calories do you think that is? Mm. Thousand. A thousand? Thousand calories. Human skin? Mm-hmm. Thousand calories. We're doing not per serving. How much is a serving? One whole skin <laughs> suit. A whole um, person. A whole person <laughs> <of> skin. <laughs> One whole skin suit. <laughs> 10,000 calories. That is a really good guess. 10,278 calories. Wow. I feel like you... Have you researched this kind of shit before? <laughs> yeah. How do you know that? If I were to kill somebody and eat them, what would be the best part to eat for cal- calorie-wise anyway? How, how do you know that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh. I don't know what that part is, but uh, I don't even know how to say this. The adipose, A-D-I-P-O-S-E tissue. It looks like it's in the knee area. Average calorie was, value. I was going to say knee would be a good one. <laughs> 49,938 calories. What? Fuck, dude. Where know. do where do they get these numbers? From people testing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so is what, that what it means to be an organ donor? So what you're saying is you eating, just get eating people and, is yeah, like, and they eat you. They, yeah, they test your calories. Yeah, that's that's where all the uh the elites that's how they get they they don't mm. even drink children blood anymore. They just take dead bodies and mm. They eat them. So you, what you're, you're saying about is that's Epstein's very, Island. yeah, those types. Yeah. yeah, they eat the hearts and they gain their power. It's and, very unhealthy to eat a person. You'll be fucking loading up with calories. Cole, whoever Cole is, grouped the butt muscles with the head and torso, which had a caloric value of 5,400. Don't bother with the kidneys, pancreas, or teeth, which ranked among the lowest body parts calorie wise. So I what, don't know why you would pe- fuck the with pancreas. Teeth anyway. You said pancreas. No. Uh, is that what you just said? The pancreas is in that? Group? Yeah. Kidneys, pancreas, and, or teeth. Or teeth. I don't know what kind of person would eat teeth or why you'd want to try, but I don't know. I mean, the skeleton itself has 25,000 calories. <laughs> Whole skeletal system. Really? Well, you can- Ooh, get that marrow. You can get a femur. Mm-hmm. Crack that shit open. <laughs> suck that. You can fucking boil. You can boil like chopped up femur and make some fucking nice soup. Yeah, teeth like fucking broth? teeth taste disgusting though. Like that's fucking like when you're at the dentist and getting getting it grinded on and mm. you get all that dust in there. Well, I mean, it's the how worst you, fucking taste. How would you eat teeth anyway? They're hard. You're like, breaking. You have to grind it down like they do at the dentist. Like a powder. But yeah, you, you snort it like cocaine. How do you have these cape? Let's say you're stuck in the mountains. How do you have these cape? You just get a rock and just, yeah, yeah, hard grind rock. It? Yep. Just fucking. You thought about this too. <laughs> Start hard. <rock. laughs> Start hard rocking the teeth, you know? Yeah, gross. <laughs> so, yeah, Albert Fish, he was a real fucked up fucking, fucking guy. I would assume... Wrote a fucking letter. One of the first considered uh, serial killers, you know? Because, well, I mean, serial killers didn't really become serial killers, like the term, until like yeah. the well, how 70s. many Well, how many kills do you have to have to become... I think three. Three. Is, yeah. Three. But I also don't think it's necessarily uh, the There's, amount of kills. I think it's it's also the like pattern and like patterns the, and the amount yeah. of confirmed kills. Yeah, the amount of confirmed uh. kills. <laughs> but I think it's yeah. I think it's uh, yeah. The patterns like how you kill them, reasonings, uh, the type of people. Like if you have yeah. like a specific, you know, like the co-ed killer, how he fucking mm-hmm. killed younger women and shit. And right. so there was a. There was a serial killer, and I'm just I'm just bringing this up off of my memory of of seeing a documentary on it one time. But years and years ago, when <laughs> they used to like one of the biggest things around was in Chicago, they would do like the they would do like a giant 
festival in Chicago where like people would come from all over the world to like show their latest and greatest like engineering, you know, inventions, inventions and, yeah. and whatever. And there was this guy. And this was back in like the 1800s too, whatever. But like one of the big hotels in Chicago that uh, people would stay at had like this barber shop. And the guy that owned it, whatever, like he was had a barber shop in it. These guys would come in to get like their fresh shaves and stuff before they went downtown and whatever. And he had it set up so that like he'd kick the chair back. And he had it set up where there was a trap door where he like pushed the fucking thing on his with his foot. And it would just dump them right out of the fucking barber chair into this trap chute. And the dude would, he'd keep them. Wasn't this Sweeney Todd? It might have been. That might be who I'm thinking of. Well, that's a movie. I don't know if that's, <laughs> that's with Johnny Depp. Yeah. Be it, more <laughs> Sweeney Todd. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That was it. That was, yeah. That was actually watched, such, I watched that movie today when I was at home. Stayed home from work. Yeah, it's such a good documentary. <laughs> no, uh, so realistic. It might, it might be what it is, but I think I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of. I don't know. Maybe it's based, maybe this is based off of somebody like that or something. But yeah, it might be. I, I don't know. There's yeah, but I'm pretty sure it was like he, he would capitalize on like the Chicago convention or whatever. The Demon Barber of Fleet Street. Yeah, let's see if it was based on a true story. And I might be, th and I might be thinking of like multiple. Multiple serial killers, like in one thing here, but so I know there was there was one that was had had to do with like the Chicago Convention, and he would kidnap people and like hold them in like hidden trap rooms and shit and do experiments on them. And I thought it was the barber guy. Well, so this, so the yeah, I mean, I I I don't know. This isn't based on a true story or anything. I guess he used to. He'd kill them and then he'd give them to his girlfriend or whatever this lady, and then she'd cook them and I, oh, I guess they would eat them. I'm that assuming. doesn't sound familiar. Yeah. <laughs> must, must not be the one I'm thinking of. So I looked up like female ser serial killers, and the first one that came up was a fucking ten year old little girl, mm. Mary Bell. So she would, and she was over in like England or something like that. She would. uh her neighbors or like her neighborhood kids that were all around, um, she would lure these little boys in. And I know two boys for sure she killed in the same way. She would uh, lure them in and tell them that like their throat hurt. Like somehow she would convince, I guess they were only four or five years old, mm -hmm. but she would convince them that their throat hurt. And she was like, let me massage it. She would start massaging it. And then all of a sudden just start like squeezing and strangle them yeah. until they fucking passed out dead. And she did that on two separate occasions. The first one, she left a note as well. And just like mocking the young kid, left a note for the parents, mocking the young kid that she just killed. And then I think on the, the second one, she like carved an M in his stomach. Yeah. From she what I heard. Said she mutilated the body. Yeah. And carved an M in his, her, her in his stomach and... They were the first one was four years old and the second one was three years old. And she was only dudes. fucking ten. Yeah, well, she ended up. She got caught. Other she people's served, kids, man. Right. She served uh -huh. fucking. <laughs> she only served twelve years in prison. She went to juvie or whatever, and yeah. she got out when she was fucking twenty three. Double murder. Yeah. Got out when she was twenty three years old, and she's still alive now. Yeah. Really? I think uh, she goes by like an alias now, though. Um, yeah, she and, was she was an an like, anonymity. Yeah, anonymity. So she's anonymous. Is she still killing people or no? We don't. I mean, obviously not, or they don't know about it because she's just out and about. So <laughs> her mom was a sixteen-year-old sex worker. Oh yeah, there you go. So, raise, raise your fucking kids right, and you don't have to worry about them killing people. Well, yeah, she said the first thing she said was, "Take that thing away from me." The mom, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, yeah. but you imagine like that fucking at ten years old, how fucked up you have to be just to strangle. Oh yeah. Like, I heard there was another story where she lured a guy on top or a, a young kid on top of like a building and pushed him off, shoved him. Yeah, shoved him off. I don't think he died, but like that was the start of it. I don't think. Yeah, she tried. She apparently she tried to strangle like several other, <laughs> several yeah. other kids. Like, wow. But, yeah, I mean, that's. I, I feel like that's how they usually start. Dude, is like young kids doing fucking like 
just usually it's with like animals. Animals. Or well, pets. I'm saying yeah. like they, yeah. a lot of the times they have like fucked up parents and shit. Like they have oh, fucked yeah. up upbringings, and then it just clicks something in their fucking brain to make them be fucking whack jobs. For the most part, I feel like there's some because I'm I'm I can't remember if it was Ted Bundy or who it was, but was, there was somebody who didn't really have a bad upbringing. You know, it was like loving parents and stuff, and yeah. then they just were just, just a, fucking crazy, just genetically fucking weird. Yeah. Dude, do you think as an adult, she was like, after she got out and was moved on with her life, do you think she was like banging dudes and was like, hey, I'm into like choking, <laughs> choking? And she's like riding some guy, like strangling him, but like has to, like, okay, stop, stop, that's enough. And he went, he went a little farther than he should have. <laughs> it's just to remind herself, like, you can't squeeze too hard. You think she gets her rocks off doing that nowadays? That's she, possible. I think it's a definite possibility. She's just doing it like yeah. in a responsible way now where she's not actually killing people. She's just <laughs> irresponsible. <laughs> let, me, <laughs> let me strangle you just until you about pass out. And then it's like my sex fetish. Well, a lot of the times, like, that's how a lot of these like serial killers and shit, how they like get off is. Not necessarily sex and shit. It's Domination. it's like it's we well. It's just weird, weird shit that get like cannibalism is a is like a sexual. Uh, I don't want to say fantasy, but like it, they sexualize it basically, and like they yeah. get off on cannibalism and j- just weird shit. Like and I think like how how could you <laughs> like think about I, like I'm just sitting here thinking about eating you and like. Mm. Yeah, God. Oh, your cheek tastes so good, you know? That's creepy as fuck, dude. <laughs> right? Imagine that. Oh, actually, the, like, che- cheek meat, that would probably be the best. It might be good. You know? But. It might be chewy. Also, it's like, mm. you're also going to get that inner se- section. Like, what kind the, of shit did they I put mean, in their mouth? I mean, that you chew on anyway. I bet. Like, I bet human you. chews on a little bit. Right. I bet you. <laughs> but I'm saying, I'm not good. saying, like, if I'm eating his cheeks. You know, I'm, I'm, be, <laughs> I'm probably going to get like all kinds of cum and stuff inside of his. You know, I'm, I'm basically cheeks. eating other dudes' cum because, you know, eating it's the right. shit that they put in their mouth. Yeah. You're going to be getting that too. Dude, Rocky Mountain oysters, but like from a person. Yeah. I mean, they got to be good. Rocky Mountain oysters are good. I would assume it's the same thing. It's got to be. And yeah. there's what? What was it? Like five calories per sperm or something like that? Or in a teaspoon of sperm? That's you, a lot of calories. I don't know. You said it. Wasn't it you? Or is it you? It wasn't me. Yeah. They were, uh, I don't remember the There's like 15, 15 calories, something like that. It, per te- Jesus. Per teaspoon. Yeah, it was like, uh, what the fuck was it? I don't, I don't know. Remember. I can't remember now. Yeah. I don't have any of the deets in front of me. No. <laughs> Those are hard. It was Those under 20. Those are hard details to remember. Under 20 and a, a teaspoon or a tablespoon of cum. Hmm? Yeah. So if you ever... Need that little extra boost of calories. Either if you're a woman, get somebody's cum or just come into Dude, a teaspoon for yourself. And then, if we were in like a fucking in a position where like we were survive, like had to survive, <laughs> would you and, eat your own cum? And there was no, there was no fucking, no food, whatever. Like we had to fucking figure out how we were going to survive. Dude, we, we could take turns cutting a nut off and then we could cook it up and we could all share it there's share sick. one nut yeah you just you can serve you know what i mean there's like say all three of us were out in the wilderness lost and we had that's a, a lot of conserving dude we had there's six of them between the fucking or well, i think there's six of them. what you could do is just keep coming <laughs> right just eat and C- come eat and come because i mean that's going to continuously produce do you think the balls are you're only going to get going to replace balls? come like, do you think your body's going to make more cum if you're eating the cum that you're already? I don't think so. And I also don't think your body would have a problem making cum either. Well, if you're, like, running out of nourishment, you're just going to shut down certain functions. No, right? I think you'd be fine. How long do you think you could survive you think, on eating your own cum? Let's say, do you think you could produce <laughs> enough cum to survive? I don't know. Do you? I don't I don't know. I've I've never had to be in that situation, and I don't. You should try it. I mean, just practice. Just, just, you know, just one day. Just blow it as many times as you can, and then measure it, and be like, "Yeah, this will probably get me through a week or so." Yeah, <laughs> I feel like I feel like that's that's a job for you because you're fucking you're getting off like three times a day now. 
Mm. Yeah, you should do that. Sorry, Not every day. Like, that's mm. just that one day. You should do that mm. scientific experiment and let us know how it pans out. <laughs> that's that's also not that fair. Sounds all right. You guys are If I had you made of a deal, if I I'll let you guys it. know how it goes. <laughs> I suppose I'll take one for the I'll team. Take one. I'll take three. Mm -hmm. Three, take three, three for, for the, the team. team. What does that mean? Three comes for the yeah, team. Yeah, mm. rubbing out three times in the day. Yeah. Well, we did need to do the. Whatever that Urban Dictionary was, where you you come uh, in December, right? Oh yeah, the it's like in, one time on the first or something, two times on two the second, times. and then you get to the end of the month and you have to come thirty something times in a day. Like yeah, For, so whatever the uh, whatever the day number is, right? So like the twenty fifth, right. you have to come. You have to come twenty five times that day, all the way up till the new year. Do you know how December hard 1st. that would be? That would starting be, December first, I don't think. I don't think it's possible. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I mean, do you think you could come twenty five times, times a day, dude? No, you're because by the time you got to that day, first of all, your dick would be so raw that you wouldn't want to fucking touch it, and yeah. it would be hard if you're stroking it. You're well, just ugh. I mean, I feel like by the time you got to the end of the month, like your dick would just be a fucking callus, right? You know what I mean. You just be yeah. I feel like you get to like maybe day eight, dude. That would that would suck. Like I think eight is probably top. What's the most? What's the most times you fucked in one day? Fucked? Yeah. What's the most times you fucked in one day? Oh god, I don't know. It was several. We were doing a. Was you, it ever, one? you ever fucked so many times in one day that you're like, I don't want sex no more. No. Because like, you're because <laughs> like it's like your dick hurt. No. No. I don't think I've ever not wanted sex hmm. like that. No, I've had to do it where my dick hurt. Like it was like, yeah, like, no, I'm, yeah, I'm out. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know how many times that was. I don't know. Yeah, dude, I think, so there was a time I had sex and it was like, it was probably like four or five days in a row, like where it was like three to four times, five times maybe a day for like four days straight. And I was like, I I'm done. I'm done. No more. I'm done. My dick hurts. It's raw. It's fucking <laughs> open for infection right now. Rubbed the fucking skin <laughs> off of it. It uh, wasn't open to start the day? No. No, by, by the time I was done. Your herpes wasn't flaring up? <sighs> fuck. Jaden just texted me. I think Caitlin Clark just broke the record. Nice. Cool. Yeah. Sorry, that's what I was looking at. She texted me. Yeah. She's all fucking excited about it. I mean, it is a really cool thing. Yeah. Like, do you I think, wish I was that good at basketball. Do you think Caitlin Clark is so good at basketball because she eats people outside of playing basketball? Probably, yeah. She I mean, has yeah. the calories. You only, to, you, well, you only get that strong by eating so many hearts of, of mm -hmm. people's. That's probably the best muscle in a, in a fucking human body is the heart. Oh, for sure. I bet. Yeah. I mean, I've eaten, uh, was it cow? I, I guess it'd be cow. No, turkey. Turkey heart. Turkey hearts are good. Turkey heart? Heart gizzard. I always do all the fucking the giblets. The giblets. That's a weird word. It is. Giblets. Well, especially after a scary movie, too. That's all I could think of. I cook with all <laughs> the giblets, the penises and the janas. <laughs> <laughs> My gems. My gems. <sighs> Hold on a second. Water. What's happening? Did what? that thing auto refill? When the fuck? What? <laughs> when did you? That thing was like almost empty. When did you fill that? What? I swear to God, was it not? Are you high? Are you a fucking magic man? I am. More... That thing was down. I would quarter. say I'm more like Rain Man than I am Magic Man, but well, I agree. But however, that thing was at a quarter of a tank, and for some reason now it's damn near full. Yeah. Well, where you did know, you? There's also a box of beer here with an empty water bottle in it. Mm, that's what it was. I didn't even see you do that. <laughs> <laughs> right in front of your face. Fucking magical. Yep, magical. Anyway, serial killers. <laughs> Sneeze out. Of see how that? See how that water's just like rotating inside the bottle. Here's a good one. Richard Chase. 
Dick Chase, huh? The Dick vampire Chase. killer of Sacramento. The old Dick Chase. Was this the gray guy? No, that was the that fucking last just, one. Oh, the last one. God, God just go back to sleep. <laughs> you need your you need your night night time. Yeah, yeah. You you need your night night time. I I had my night night time. Too. Do you want a night night time with me? I had night night time at work. What? Do you want a night night time with me? I promise you'll wake up in the morning. No, I don't <laughs> trust you. I don't trust you one bit. So tell us about this Dick Chase. Dick Chase. Dick, Dick Chaser. Yeah. Dick Chase, the vampire killer of Sacramento. Pretty cool name. I vampire guess. killer. I feel like I'd want to be called Dick like Chase the or the vampire killer. Oh no, not Dick Chase. Vam- <laughs> the vampire killer of Sacramento. Now, maybe not Sacramento. That's kind of gross. yeah. Imagine getting caught and like you were known as the vampire killer, and you're like, yeah, that's a great name. And then people started calling you Dick Chaser. Dick Chase. <laughs> Dick Chaser was <laughs> caught for killing people, and then you're like, no, fuck. I'm the Vampire killer, I'm the vampire <laughs> killer. No, you're Dick Chaser, you yeah, you're fucking Dick loser. Chaser. Uh, this guy was, uh, yeah, he was one of the the standard serial killers. You know, started started uh, with animals, worked his way up to people. <laughs> he was a he was a he was an animal torturer. So that's like a surefire sign. If you if there's a yeah. kid that's torturing, killing, skinning animals, you know that they're gonna be. Fucked up. And this guy, even after that, he started doing LSD, so that didn't help. So there's a fine line between, you know, like skin and animals and it being a, a problem. Well, like you know. skinning, skinning like, them in the way of like you're in the backyard and there's a fucking dead squirrel and you go out and start just stabbing it repeatedly. Yeah, that's and a little that, fucked that's up. That's a little fucked up. Like we were walking by the lake fucking this last fall and there was a big fucking fish up on the bank and there's this kid just fucking sitting there stabbing it. And we Future heard his, serial killer? Yeah, definitely. And we heard his mom from down the street. And you could just tell what kind of. Yeah. Fucking Johnny, get back here. I told you to get over here. Yeah. And she just like, I mean, fucking spaghetti strap falling here, mm. like stains all over her white. like it's Half fucking, a nipple hanging yeah, out. And like, it's not the kind you want to see. Yeah. Just. Yeah, he's gonna kill somebody. Yeah, Saturday. that he's gonna be. You take note. Take you should have taken note Dude, of that kid's those, name. Like, and those kind of parents are like, oh, he was such a good kid. We yeah. never saw it coming. Yeah, <laughs> everybody else did. <laughs> everybody, everybody saw that else did. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. So this guy was weird. He uh, he injected himself with rabbit blood for some fucking reason. That there was something I don't have it here, but there was something about him like trying to like hide his blood from the nazis or something i don't know it was weird as fuck <laughs> uh yeah he's he was a weird dude so that escalated to, to killing birds and drinking their blood and then that turned into a string of you know real murders of people uh including <laughs> people. a pregnant woman oh that's fucked yeah who he drank her blood out of a yogurt cup out of a yogurt Because, I cup. mean, yeah, because if you're going to drink blood of a person, there's no finer way than out of a yogurt out cup. Out of a plastic yogurt some cup. some play. But if you want to get fancy, Greek yogurt cup. Yeah, you got to do Greek. Yeah. It like tastes way better. It's so much better. Yeah. And better for you. Yep. I, f- I feel like if you're going to, like, blood is gross anyway. I mean. It tastes awful. Well, yeah. Like, if you, you look at, like, those African tribes and shit that, like, drink blood every day, that's, like, with. They nourish themselves with like cow blood. Mm-hmm. It's like a religious deal, but that is gross as fuck. Like, I, yeah. why do you want it? It's like drinking fucking warm, thick milk. Gross. Well, like, that and it's yeah, it's like copper, mm-hmm. coppery, the, the metallic. Yeah, the metal. Oh yeah. yeah. This guy was very domery oh. too. He had he had body parts in his fridge and all this the shit. Fuck. Ended up killing himself in prison. Like so, oh he was, so he was stockpiling like people parts people parts yeah probably to eat That's or, so or whatever I just yeah I what don't... makes you want to like you know if there was a human arm on the fl- on the ground I'd be like gross what the fuck yeah and there's people out there that are <laughs> like oh I'll take that home I'll put it in my fridge it looks awfully tasty That's once uh... once I'm done jerking myself off with that I'm totally gonna <laughs> eat it. <laughs> Cause that's the kind of shit they do. Still got a Timex attract, attracted or a strap to it. Yeah, that actually reminds me. There was this movie I watched one time. It was a French movie 
really fucking weird. I, I wish I could remember the title so like people could watch it. But it's the very first scene. It was like this dude out in the middle of this desert or something, and he was in his van and it looked, he's getting a blowjob. Right, you see his head bobbing down up up and down on his dick, and uh, and then he heard hears something on the radio and he like finishes up, and and then he it's a head. He throws the head out the window and he drives away. So he's giving himself a blowjob with some chick. What the. F- <laughs> Uh-huh. It was the very first scene. I was like, <laughs> did not expect it because it just looked like some chick giving him a blowjob in the in the van or whatever. Nope. It was just some head that he cut <laughs> off and it was fucking <laughs> blowing him the sound. I was like, holy shit. Fucking I was dick, like 11 dick years popping old. popping out of the bottom of his throat. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. You think he got blood on his dick? Oh, yeah. I would assume. Definitely. He yeah. had to have. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. They didn't show that part. So I don't know. Right. Uh, wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was a wow. weird, weird fucking movie. I mean, huh. it, I bet it wouldn't even be that great of a blowjob, though, either. You know what I mean? Like, just a lifeless fucking mouth. Like, Well, yeah, well, you would expect it would be dry. Too. It's got to be it fucking cold. Cold, and I'm pretty sure, like, the, the saliva stops producing, so it's, it's going to be a rough tongue. Do you think you would? Do you think you would eventually warm it up like a pocket pussy? Well, like, after, like... A little bit, you with kind of friction warm it up, probably yeah. with some friction. Yeah, you think you probably warm it, but up? it's still gonna be dry. Gross. <laughs> well, I guess the blood would probably. <laughs> you got that my blood dries though pretty quick too. You got my pocket pocket pussy. Head I don't know if anybody's head. a serial killer out there who fucked yourself with a chopped off head. I guess let us know. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Let us know in the comments. <laughs> Let us know in the comments. <laughs> Leave your full name, address, and state. <laughs> you sure got a pretty mouth. You sure got a pretty mouth. <laughs> that fucking. Uh, dude, some like the people that do this shit, man. It's it's like it's so curious. Curious, like what what actually goes through their minds? Goes through their minds when they're doing like the so like the Ted Bundy thing, right? He would he just talked girls into getting to, in his car. Well, okay, right, but he so he was like very charismatic. He was a, a you know a good looking guy. Seemed. Perfectly fine. He didn't yeah. obviously come off as a serial killer. So they're like, this this is perception. Like, this guy looks and acts like a perfectly normal. I, I guarantee I'm going to be fine getting a ride home from this guy or whatever, you know? Yeah. I, it's just the way you present yourself. What, you know? Dude, what, you now, have if to. Charles Manson were to come up to you in, in his car and his fucking his slug bug and be like, hey, you want to ride? <laughs> you want to ride home? I'm sure people well, wouldn't even, be like, yeah. Even the like timing, the time frame of them, like, you know, these were all back in yeah, back in the day. Early, we're like getting a ride days home from where somebody. Where getting a ride was, home from a random person was fine. Where right, like, you don't lock your doors. Was, like fine, yeah, yeah. Dude. Like now, you don't even want your kids to play out in the fucking front yard. Imagine right, going. Yeah. Like, imagine going to like City Beach and Clear Lake, right? Rolling up and parking in the fucking right on the parking spot there. And just leaning against the front of your car, and like as girls walk by, you're like, "Hey, you need to ride home." Yeah, you'd be the cops would be called Dude, on the you after the first one. Oh, yeah. So fucking fast. Yeah, yeah. Even if you were like just being genuine, like, "Hey, you need to ride home." Well, yeah. You like, I home. mean, granted, two out of three of us would be legit about it and just give them a ride home, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, well, you know. we all know who that. Well, <laughs> I just, I, I have a hard time like understanding how some of these like the what thought process processes go through their head when they're getting ready to like you know when you break into somebody's house right and you know you're gonna go in there and like in the back of your head you're like i'm probably gonna kill this this woman (laughs) right yeah like when you go in there and you like first see her and like you see her like startled like oh my god (laughs) what what goes through their fucking head like Oh, I'm gonna kill you now. <laughs> like, like, do you think they feel like subconsciously, like, ah, this is really shitty. I shouldn't well, be doing this. I think, well, I think most of them, most of them have even thought that, like, they know that they're doing something really shitty, but like, they get off to it. Mm-hmm. But then they also, most of them, like, stop for a while, like years. Like, what was it? Jeffrey Dahmer, he stopped for how many years? Yeah. And then all of a sudden, one day, it just, like, clicked again. Because they get these... It's like you quit smoking, and then you're at a bar, and someone's like, hey, you want a cigarette? And you're like, no, no, no. And then all of a sudden, you get it. You get that little taste again, and it's... Yeah, there's, like, something that triggers you, and then you you just get these fucking urges, and they can't 
They can't control them. They have to act on them. Otherwise, it just gets worse and worse and worse and well, worse. It sounds like they're pretty good people then. It's just they got no you know, addictions. Yeah, it's just like, you know, being like a sex addict or. You know, why did, I mean, why do we got to <laughs> put them in prison? I mean, it's just a problem that they have to overcome. Right. Well, you see, it's. I think it's just the. Ex- <laughs> I think it's just the the flat out extent of their problem. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. you know, being addicted to cigarettes is a little different than being addicted to. Yeah, you're just killing yourself at that throat. point. <laughs> Not killing other people. Yeah. If you were, if you were to kill somebody, okay. I like where this is going. If you were to kill somebody, mm-hmm. <clears throat> and I, I suppose we should probably set up like what's. It's not a random act, like a. You just killed somebody because you got mad at them. Like, you thoroughly thought it through. You picked somebody you're going to kill, and you're going to go kill them. Unless everything goes awry, how are you going to kill somebody? Like, if you were to try to get away with it in 2024, how are you killing somebody? <sighs> Honestly, uh, the I feel like the best way... Okay, there's probably two ways. One would be... Okay, is it somebody I know, or just it could be anybody? Just you, you random were, person, you're, you're whatever. Pla- you're planning it though. You pick somebody yeah. and you want them dead, and you're gonna kill them. That's how are you doing it? It would have to be either like some form of poison to not get caught, right? Or you'd have to pick like the perfect spot with no cameras, whatever, and you'd have to like snipe them or something because that's probably the only way like really that you would or this is one of the easiest ways i guess to not get caught because you can if they don't know where you're shooting them from you can collect all your shit you know and any evidence clear it up whatever and right and like huh i don't know so don't don't hang out with you out in the middle of absolute nowhere well, you, Dude, what I, you if definitely you, wouldn't be hanging out with what me. If, I'd, you'd just be out in the middle of nowhere, and I'd be somewhere that nearby. <laughs> what <laughs> you if you just wouldn't know it? What if you were out in like the middle of the fucking the mountain somewhere, and you're like, "Oh, there's a random person. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill this guy with a sniper." And you shoot him. And you're like, "Yep, nobody will ever know about this." And you walk past a fucking trail camera on your <laughs> way out, <laughs> carrying your fucking. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you'd be fucked. And but yeah, chances are you wouldn't even notice it anyway, dude. It would be like it makes me wonder why people even think that they can get away with it anymore because there's like people do. There's there's so there, much I mean, shit they can fucking. Dude, people nail get you. away with the murder all the like every day probably. Chicago, yeah, fucking yeah. South Side Chicago, oh, people yeah. are getting away with it every single day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well they're not Guaranteed. really. LA, but yeah, I mean, I agree. They're not really they're not trying really to try to solve it. You either. know, I mean, but there are so many. How can you try? Like, right. you know, I mean, small they can town, only, they small can town only Clear Lake, in. they're finding you. Yeah. Like, they're yeah. going to put the effort in and they're going to find like, you. But like Southside oh, yeah. Chicago, you can only hire so many people, detectives. Yeah. Like, you can't just have a detective for every person. In well, Chicago. that's not necessarily true. I mean, look at Jody Husentrude. She hasn't even, obviously, she's dead. Well, that was also from a time. To where no, they had there was fucking you could do fucking DNA evidence and all this shit too. But, well, but you didn't they have had like nothing, cell had, phone. You didn't have they like, had nothing to fucking. Not every place no. had security cameras. No, not that that's were, true. You know that yeah. were fucking good. You know we were walking around with fucking big ass re- or camcorders that sat on your shoulder. And, yeah, they had security know. footage and stuff, but they didn't have it was, like the ring doorbell cameras on everyone's right. house where it's like, oh yeah, there's the van that took her right there. Right. It's going this way. Just like the guy that, that David Schultz that's missing here from like Sac County or whatever. Like they have, they have pictures of him at like different sections of like highway 20 there. Was that the but, truck driver? Yeah, the truck driver. Like they have pictures of him. Okay, he was last seen here at this time. This time, it's like that's the shit you got to really worry about if you do fucking kill somebody, right? Yeah. You get fucking. Dude, you, nobody realizes it either that like highways, every highway you travel down has cameras at the fucking traffic lights. I guess. Like, I, so I guess I'm gonna. You can't travel anywhere without somebody like. In in order to get away with it, when it comes to like if. You know, if you're in an area where there's cameras everywhere or whatever, you got to avoid them or whatever. I guess what I would do is I would definitely conceal my entire body somehow, you know, whether it be like jackets, pants. So, like, there's no no marks, no tattoos showing, any of that shit, right? Mask, obviously. And then 
you just kill somebody. Yeah. How I mean, however you kill them, but then you also can't like you can't be driving like your vehicle or anything. You have to be some I don't know shit that you found or stole or whatever. There's there's, like, there's ways to do dude, it. Killing somebody and not going to prison for it sounds like so much fucking work. There's a lot of yeah. It's like it's cool, almost yeah. like it's almost like <laughs> you just shouldn't kill somebody because that's way less work. I think that's the idea that they have behind it. Like <laughs> the people that will be lo- <laughs> will be looking for you. Like that's yeah. kind of the the idea. Yeah, but I think. Like you would have, like you said, get all dressed up and fucking just be nothing showing. But I think, like, depending on the time of the day, like, say they're go- just getting off of work, like, you jump in their vehicle and take them hostage. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, obviously with nobody around. And then you, like, have to just drive somewhere fucking the most remote place that you can. Yeah. Like, yep. I don't know, for me, it'd be like West fucking Texas or something. Oh, you're gonna go that just, far. I mean, but you'd have to do it all in one shot. Yeah. Like you'd have to, you'd have to drive it that way. Like, and hopefully you, you don't get pulled missing. over. Because don't you have to be missing for a certain amount of time before right. they actually put out? Like, I feel a, like it's like 24 hours yeah. or something. Yeah. So like, West you would Texas have to, would be a good place. Yeah. That's Dude, when nothing. I went, when I went down there for work, yeah. last year, like around this time, did, yeah, you could. Easily. Mm-hmm. And then easily. Fuck and it. then you get bit by a rattlesnake after right. you're walking back from where you dropped the body. 20 feet <laughs> away from the body. Like, <laughs> you're oh, like shit. Fuck. Son of a bit. Good Honestly, chance neither of you would be found. Honestly, yeah. that would be the bet like the best thing to do. Say best thing, but that would be the the way to do it is like if you're here in Iowa, right? You get someone, take them to tech somewhere f- far away from here. Yeah. Because I mean, chances of somebody especially like West Texas where you can hide something like that. The chances of somebody finding like a body and then linking it back to, you know, here or yeah. whatever, are pretty slim. Yeah. I was thinking, <clears throat> you know, you see some of these videos of like cops and stuff where they accidentally get like fentanyl exposure while they're doing mm-hmm. like, like drug busts. They get mm-hmm. like the wind blows, it blew in their face. And then two minutes later they're on the ground. Like, Fuck dying. Yeah. I was like, that would be one of those. Like, you dress up like a normal dude, cover up everything, like you're a fucking hitman. But that's not a normal and, dude. That's exactly. Like, oh. Yeah. It's like, and, and, and as you're and as as you're walking by somebody, you know, make sure there's nobody around you, just I like, literally right I picture, your face. I pictured him just walking and then just, just blow it. it. it so see ya. It actually spit like ah fuck and start wiping it off with your hand. <laughs> like, oh fuck, I fuck. Can, <laughs> I can see Kobe going to do it. And he like goes to taking a really deep breath to like blow it out and he sucks, sucks it in. Yeah. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Call the cops right now. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I'm just trying to get you with fentanyl. I got myself. <laughs> <laughs> got myself with the fentanyl. <laughs> yeah. Fentanyl is no joke, though. It is pandemic no joke. right now. It's fucking killing. It's a everybody. real pandemic. Did yeah. you see Jelly Roll's speech that uh, he did? Yeah, dude, that was pretty. I did not. You got to look it up. He yeah. did a fucking. He was in front of the Congress. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I didn't see the whole thing. Yeah. I started I started watching. It and I didn't. He's like, it. and I'm the perfect person to listen to because I have lost my rights to even elect any of you right. guys. Mm-hmm. He's like, my my past is my past. He's like, but I would like to do as much as I can. Dude, he future. fucking killed it on that, oh, that yeah. speech that he gave. Yeah. He's a he's he, a dude, right? Yeah, he's a dude. fucking yeah. stand up dude. I want to go see Jelly Roll at some point. Yeah. I've missed a few concerts that he's been around here, but well, he did the he was a uh, tr- uh, what do they call it now? Country Thunder. Country Thunder. Um, yeah, is it Country Thunder now? Or, yeah, yeah. Because Denim be, Fest, it was Denim, Denim Fest. Fest. Yeah. It was con- it was it was Tree Town, Country, Tree Town, Country, Country Thunder, Thunder, and Denim Fest. The Country Thunder was only like a year. I think they yeah that was the first year they bought it out and then yeah they sold it to Joe Denham yeah like the rights to it or whatever yeah and then it's what is it still Denham Fest or uh, honestly do they even we'll see do it? we'll see honestly I Are I they gave even up doing it this year uh, probably I gave up yeah. going to it I me and Kylie went the year it was uh, Country Thunder they, that was like the first yeah, year he, we were together you told us about this on here didn't you guys like 
Oh yeah, snuck away snuck in the back behind, of the truck. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and behind the camper. Behind yeah. the camper, yeah, that's yeah. what it was. Yeah. We went a few different days. <laughs> Same camera. <The> first. <laughs> so Corbin. Oh yeah. His all-time favorite band right now is uh, Motley Crue, and they are playing at the Iowa State Fair. Mm-hmm. And Jaden got online the other day when tickets went up for sale and fucking got some in. Snagged us some tickets. Fuck so yeah. He doesn't know about it. So if you see him, don't tell him. <laughs> what are you gonna do if he? Like secretly watches this podcast or something on his tablet, and you don't know about it. Well, oh, as long I as, guarantee he does every once in a while. As long he's as he, way too smart, you are not able to block him out. No. Of he For, fucking told me that the the button right here. Yeah, he told me that I didn't have to just. And I'm pretty good with electronic shit. He told me I didn't have because there's like options you could do, like your flashlight, right. whatever. Yeah, but he showed me that you can put shortcuts on there, and you could do it to like call somebody. Yeah, or whatever. I'd use it to open my YouTube. Yeah, I fucking push it, hold it, whatever, and my YouTube comes up. YouTube didn't even know that. I yeah, had that, dude, that kid flashlight is, on there for forever. <laughs> that kid's a fucking. He's a whiz, man. As long as he doesn't, as long as he acts surprised, like if he does hear this, as long as he acts surprised and like doesn't give it away that he knew about it, then fine, whatever. Yeah. Okay, so what? before you go to the concert, are you gonna let him watch the dirt? Oh, he's already seen oh, the has dirt. He? <laughs> Dude, he was watching the dirt on his tablet on the school bus one day. The, the whole tablet thing that got ripped away from him pretty quick after. Ooh, you know those uh, ground squirrels that have been showing up dead? Yep. Wasn't bourbon. Wasn't bourbon. It wasn't bourbon. Why? It was Corb. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's why the skin was removed surgically. <laughs> I wondered. I wondered why the fucking pan- it was just a pancreas missing out of every it one of them. So I don't. Yeah. Huh. And- anyway, that's all the time we have for tonight. Oh. Yeah. Well, it's been fun. This yeah. is fun. I uh, love talking about murder. Yeah, I like murder about <laughs> murdering people and killing stuff and. I do like talking about serial killers and shows. I mean, I. That's why I chose uh, criminology as my. We should major. It's fun. So we should do another episode similar to this, but we'll we'll touch on like cold cases that like just like the Zodiac, killer? like people that have gone missing and. Oh yeah, are gone and yeah. nobody knows anything. There's like no, like Jody, who's in truth? Jody, yeah. who's in truth? Which find Jody dot com. Find Jody dot com and. If you haven't watched any of the documentaries on Netflix about the serial killers, fucking The Night Stalker, Richard mm-hmm. Ramirez. Watch oh, that yeah. That one's a fucking great one. That dude. Obviously, all the Dahmer ones. Yeah. yeah. That's the the shit in, that kills me the about bag? The Night Just Stalker. Just gay stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the shit that kills me about like Dahmer, or not Dahmer, uh, <laughs> The Night Stalker, right? Is like that dude is a fucked up looking dude, right? Yeah. And you got these other crazies, like, women that are mailing them and shit and be like, I want to have your baby. That are in and, love with him. And fell in love with him. Yeah. yeah. What the fuck is wrong with people? That's gambling. Pretty Dude, fucking tough. The, way, the <laughs> way he got fucking caught <laughs> is like the exact way that I want, like, I hope it, like I fucking see a serial killer and like, didn't he just like, like running, running down through. the road and somebody just popped him across the head a bunch of no the fuck it, was out a, of him. it was like a community like fucking tackled him and yeah. they were like beating the shit beat out of the shit. fuck out of him yeah. that's the way it should be fuck yeah. yeah 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 they shouldn't have to go to like a fair trial or like shit like that they should no. they mm-hmm. should they should put him in like a fucking wwe cage match cage where he can't get out and all the people the general public that want to partake can go in there and it's like 90 to 1 and it's like you're gonna die and it's not gonna be fun for you i think they should do what the the third movie on the Human Centipede series did. I haven't seen it. You got to watch it. Ooh. <laughs> so if you go to prison, you get your mouth sewed to an asshole. Oh, um, right. Yeah, you're and, right. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. And then you're strapped in or whatever. And so you spend 10 years, you get to go, but you have them fucking... The sutures all the over sutures your face. The sutures all over your face. So, so people, people know that you've been to prison. But if you're there for life... You get your arms and your legs cut off, and but you still get your mouth fucking sewed to an asshole, and they call you the human caterpillar because well. you can't fucking move around. <laughs> so is that how you squirm around? Is that how you eat then? <laughs> you eat the shit? Yeah. You just, oh, just what? Hope, a, just hope you're in, in honestly, first. Honestly, like 
rapists and child molesters and all this yeah. shit. They we we need to do some yeah. some some. They some need fucked to be up shit. Yeah, it needs to be yeah. fucking brutal, dude. And it needs to be publicly yeah. shown. Public so hanging. people can be like, yeah, yeah, I really want to touch that kid, but I really don't want that to happen. Well, so I'm just not, gonna. I'm not gonna touch dude, that kid. Like, Mem- I mean, TikTok has started like publicly shaming a lot of those people. Like, you see those those people that are on like Chris Hansen, you know that shit. Mm-hmm. But like, it's oh, not yeah. enough. It's not enough. It's not enough. Yeah. Like, sometimes they don't. They yeah. just like nonchalantly like don't care right i guess they're like okay whatever and then they start off by saying hey we're not going to call the cops on you you know blah blah, blah. i think most of the time they do or mm-hmm. they let the the cops know but like fuck no they need to come up come yeah. in with somebody like beating their ass and beat them up yeah cut their yeah. genitals off whatever yeah make them cry we, ma- like, yeah. make them cry hysterically make it miserable yeah. they don't deserve good shit no like, you know you know back in like the wild west days they had like the the blocks You'd get in, you'd get in trouble for doing something. Mm-hmm. And they'd put, they'd lock you in like the head and arm lo- yeah, blocks. The guillotine, and you had no, to sit the there. Guillotine. It's no, the, the guillotine is where it comes down. They put your head. head. But you're still in those. You're in the arms, right? Yeah, they're called something else though. Yeah. But they put you in there, and you have to, you have to stand there hunched over like that, and they leave you outside in the weather for days. Yeah, and then I don't even think that would be enough. Dude, no, honestly, but people can walk by and stone you, and they throw like fucking the rotten vegetables and shit at you, and then the fucking the wild dogs come nip at your fucking yeah, balls. You should be fucking locked in there for, and then have it raining like quarter size hail. Public executions, public mm-hmm. executions need to come back. They do, definitely. Yeah, and if you're too soft to watch public execution, don't watch it. Don't watch. <laughs> but there's gonna be a lot of us that are gonna be like. Cut his fucking head off. <laughs> well, we'll start gambling on it. Yeah. yeah. How long is he going to last? Uh-huh. <laughs> Fan will have over. Yeah. over it'll, be, it'll be like he's sentenced to death, but you don't know what the penalty is, like how he's yeah. going to die. And be like, oh, I bet it. I, I'm putting 20 grand on hanging. <laughs> it's going to be purple Gatorade. <laughs> purple, <laughs> purple Gatorade. <laughs> he's going to be skinned and lemon. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Awesome. So, hey, uh, I know we said it before. We are doing, we started doing the giveaway. The video is coming out any day now. It's dropping. It is dropping. So if you're not watching our socials, watch the socials so you can pay attention to the socials. So you can get the way to win a Blackstone. You can figure out how to win your own Blackstone. Mm-hmm. You can figure out how to win the Blackstone. The figure Blackstone. out how to win the Blackstone. Win the Blackstone. Win it. Win it. As Nike Winner. would say, just do it. Just <laughs> do it. Just doing do it. Do it. Just doing it. Yeah. Anyway, all right. Thank you guys for yep. watching. We love the fuck out of you. Love you, love guys. you guys. Yeah, fuck you guys. Fuck you. fuck you. I would definitely murder you guys as my targets. Yep, it was good training. Yeah, good it's because I love you, <laughs> and I want to fuck your skull. <laughs> I <wanna> fuck your <laughs> skull. <laughs> yeah. With that being said, uh, okay, love Kayla, you. Bye. bye. I'm chasing her butt cheeks up and down the corn. All these girls have cowboy boots and wear their Wrangler near fuck me in the butt hole. Take two. I'm chasing their butt cheeks up and down the corn all these girls have cowboy boots and carry around their pitchforks chasing their butt cheeks up and down the corn all these girls have real nice butts and wear those wrangler jean shorts <laughs> <laughs> all right dude. uh pull chocks pull chocks Thank you.